right, Facebook fans and bowling fans, we are live for the first time from East End Lanes in Rogersville, Tennessee. And as they say, let the fun begin. This is their monthly five-game sweeper tournament. They're still in warm-ups right now, practicing. This is my first time here. This is David Lambert's place. And I have to admit, this is a cute little ball thing. Lots of room. Lay it out nice. We're going to take a little tour here in just a minute. And just, just watching some of the warm-up pin action is really, really good here. But uh, look, look at the settee area, how much room you got. Great. Really nice. Okay, before I get started, let's, let me just take a little tour here. And as every bowling center in America should have on, and if they're not, shame on you. PBA Bowling Live. Everybody should be watching the championship. Go Kyle, we're all rooting for you, buddy. This is part of the game room. Check out this uh, eating area, party room. I mean, look how nice and bright. Oops, oops, too bright. Let me change. Whoops. Let me get some adjustments here. There we go. That's better. Look at that. Look how nice and bright that is. Again. East End Lanes, Rogersville. Nice party room. Check out the pool table. Uh-huh. Great place to have pool tournaments. Lots of room again. Nice and bright. And here at the front desk, you'll see a couple of familiar faces. There's one familiar face. There's another familiar face. And there's the man himself, Mr. Lambert. Hello. Get out of here. What you got? Here, man. And I know you're pulling this up on Facebook, right? <laughs> oh no, this yeah. is on Facebook? Yes, man. Oh no. This is this is the same place like on Monday night, you're everywhere. I'm always around. Where's your where's your drinking buddy at? I don't know. I don't know what he's doing today. All he's selling cars, like candy bars. Probably. That's a nice little place. He can
why we didn't mention it. It is a 10 lane bowling center. Been here, I think David said, for about 10 years. Looks great, really. Bowling Center has a Jason Del Monte, and it seems to be East End Lane. Young man got a spare and quarter row going on five. Jason Del Monte has changed the game forever. Official tournament director. Say hello. Howdy, howdy. Let's see how the bowling's doing. <laughs> yeah, I'm competing against this, and Walter Ray Williams is live streaming his uh, TVA 50 tournament. He always makes the finals. And Dick's down by 12, going halfway through. Everybody who's looking, thanks for tuning in. Be sure and share the broadcast. We're live streaming to Interstate Bowl, East in lanes, 
Dave's Pro Shop, Lambert's Pro Shop, and the video game. And they're about halfway through the first one. Good luck wish for a call this afternoon. Nice shot, dude. Appreciate it.
That'd be a good match, Dickie and Kyle. Yeah. I told my friends I got Kyle winning. Oh, usually, yeah. Usually every time Kyle, like, wins, he always has, like, a purpose to win. Like, you know that one he won? So, his grandfather? Yeah. That one? This one's for his mother, so. Did you see, did you, see the, you see the interview I did with him last week on the on the Interstate Bowls uh, Monday Night League? No. Yeah, he, I, he did a live interview with, with me and David. He's, he's, he's focused. He's focused. Yeah, it's on the, it's on the East End Hill uh, Facebook page. That's where I met. Uh, I did the pro with him. Yeah. He gave me. He gave me like two shirts. He gave me this one and uh, another one. It was like the black and yellow one. Yeah. He gave me some wristbands and stuff like that. He's a good guy. There we go. Oh, good finish. Game one in the book. I think we know who the leader. Well, this is handicapped, so I'll have to check with Elena. Get you an update on the uh, game. Again, this is the first game. I heard I think 56. 58. 224. Good game. Center's got the good scoring. Dave got a hold of a little gym when he got this bowling center. The Beth Quillen, Jack Stedman, Matt Martin, Beverly Singleton. Thank you all for watching. Tom Vidal, Keith Vance. Again, everybody, thanks for watching.
I just I get a lot of open. That's that's what I did. Hang on, let's take out that.
Alright, let's go see how Carl's doing over here.
Halfway through and calls down to 10. Anybody's game. Good thing. If you walk from one end of the bowling center to the other, you don't have to go too far. Makes my back hurt. Top of the 216. Get some good games on this pair. down the nine pin. Going into the eighth, he can't get much closer than that for $250,000. Match. 
Going into the eighth and ninth. That's hot. Uh oh. That's what he was waiting on. He went from minus one to minus three. He just strikes the setup for the tenth frame here. Going into the ninth. He was talking about Monday night, staying with his process. Oh. If you all missed it, the uh, interview I did with him this past Monday is on Interstate Bowl and East End Lane's Facebook page this uh, past Monday night. What an honor. Nine pins, 250,000 in first major. Wow, what a shot. Congratulations, Kyle. Congratulations, Kyle.
tickets. We're starting game three. Here, watch this, and you haven't liked on Facebook, Interstate Bowl, or ATC in lanes. Be sure and do so. Welcome any kind of comment. We're watching, I'm trying to keep up with them.
I saw it out of the corner of my eye, but I didn't get it on camera. <laughs> He can't bowl unless he's drunk. Huh? He can't bowl unless he's drunk. Give us an update on the standings, ma'am. Yes. Right now, we have Blake is leading everything. <laughs> is that the 14-year-old? Uh, he's 15. 15. He is leading the scratch division. It's tied by eight pins. And then he's leading the handicap division by one pin. So wow. It's pretty close so far. 14-year-old, Dave. Or 15? 15. 15. Yeah, 15. He's, 15. Good. Yeah. Yeah. he's very good. Oh, gosh, yeah. They're already
times begin. East in lane, baby. Fifteen. Good games on this pair. Two thirty, two twenty-one, two hundred. Blake goes off. It's two fifteen.
tournament leader right now. See if I can get a few words with him before they get started. Maybe. Maybe. No. Let's see. Okay, folks, this is your tournament leader right now, Blake. All right, Blake, just in case there's some college recruits who might be watching, how long have you been bowling? Uh, 11 years now. It's, well, it'll be 12 this year. 12 this year? Um, what do you think is your strongest point, strongest key point in your bowling game? Probably my down and in style. I, I just, that's just what I'm most comfortable with. Is it more down and in, like around like 20 and 10? Right. Just hitting that, get, swinging out to about five. Just my down and in game. I'm working on my outside game, but right. my most comfortable with my down and in. Um, of course, I know you're only you're only 15. So, what's the future goals for for your bowling right now? Uh, get better at spares, mainly, and get better at uh, lane. Like, recognizing when to switch bowling balls on when the lane changes, basically. Any particular college you might be looking at further down the road? Uh, not right now. Uh, I'm just here to have fun for. Right for now. I'll just wait for another two years and then I'll start. Alright. Good luck for the rest of the tournament. Appreciate it. I think I'm leading that game. That third game. <laughs> <laughs> two, two, two of five. Yeah, that's all that. I don't know. Nice good. Get, couldn't figure out nine. I figured out ten. First three shots. It's always at the end pair, they're always funky anyway. I have like a 200 I've only won this tournament once. 
And when I won the tournament, I shot 239. I had an average, average 239. I had to. Like, I shot 11, 11 I still won the tournament. Hey, for a little bowling center, this place has got some scores in it. This what I bought high school here. I bought for DB. Uh -huh. We bought Cherokee here. First time we bought here, it was about 40 feet, 43 feet. Was the house shot and then they passed like 40. <laughs> so when we came back, it was completely it was shorter. Our balls were hooking more. <laughs> so they called us they called us lacking the first time because our coach didn't like put in the right people because it was on our second time, so she didn't know who to put in. Next time we they, so that was, they gave us our first loss and our only loss that year. And then we came back here and then our house twice and beat them. We like we beat them I think 19 8 every time. It's easy to get tight up. Yep. Yep. in that pool.
How are we looking now? Um, all right, it is extremely close. So Nate has taken over the scratch division with a 710, and Blake has a 688, and Logan has a 668. So it's really close there. Okay. And then in the handicap division, uh, Nate is winning by seven pins with a 719. And which so one? Which one's Nate? Nate. Is Seven thirty, time to bowl.
Went into that street. Well, your tournament leader is going at a 79 pace. That'll put a hurt on a lot of people right there. Get you on though. Hey! Did you? <laughs> a friend just texted and said she was watching it. Yeah, you're on Facebook Live, Susie. And I'm like, ah, did I say a bad word? Hey Nate, 
Nate. Here's your tournament leader going into the last game. Just shot 279. What's your strategy going into the last game? Uh, just same thing. Not really enough bowlers here to really uh, affect the lane, so I stay inside by the hole. And... Same ball, same line? Yeah. All right, good luck. Thank you. Shootout boards. Let's see what we got going on here. Going by pretty quick. Game five coming up.
seven. Now I see how Keith plays now. You still you still in brackets, aren't you? Probably not after my 149. Oh. <laughs> Saw your name up there. I'm supposed to be behind. Well, I don't know. Did they start the first game? I'm not sure. I saw your name up here. Whoa. Oh, that came out of... That came out of Johnson City. That came, that came from Johnson City back to the pocket. Bro, was that before you? <laughs> Took you a while to get warmed up. Video guy taking a break, he's sitting down. with that sweet roll Randy Peterson
it slices, it dices. Get about man five in a row. Get off there. Look at that, they're falling. Sailor special.
Just got seven pins. All right, 255. He goes out. Herman looking at a 215, so he can make quite a quite a few pins up and strike out. I'm extremely close.
Okay, we'll be just about ready to start waiting on one pair to finish up and we'll have the results here in just a minute. Thank like everybody for watching. This is my, again my first time coming down that East End Lane. Very nice bowling center. Uh, if you're in Rogersville, be sure and stop by. See David Lambert or Elena. They'll be glad to fix you up. Birthday party. Interested in bowling league, be sure and contact the bowling center. Just about finishing up here. Um, I will be back Monday night at Interstate Bowl on the Monday Pepsi Classic League. Uh, not sure who the guest will be. It'd be nice to get Kyle back on. Talk about his big win. Hey, Dave. So we can't get Kyle in. I'll get you more information on on that. Yeah, tune in Monday night too on the Interstate Boat. See if we can't catch some honors for us. All right, that's the last one. Last two just turned in. And we'll have the money presentation here in just a second. Are you gone, buddy? I'll be back. All right. I don't know where. Let's see who the winners are. Again, be sure and like and follow Interstate Bowl and East Ten Lanes on Facebook. Leave us a comment. Let me know how you how you like this video. This live stream today. Unbelievable Wi-Fi. No issues at all. There's our tournament director and bowling proprietor hard at work. Getting the sports figured up. Let's go to the pro shop. I don't think I've been in there yet. Dave's pro shop. Well, 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 well. Look who the hell we have here. The man in action himself. What's up, Mr. D? Yeah, just doing a little live streaming. And one. Uh, it was between uh, Nate and that young kid. I can't think of his name. The Belmonte bowler. Oh, Blake? Blake, yeah. He was real close between them two. Where's Nate Bowl out there? He's consistent. I can't believe the scores in this little house. Unbelievable. I, I told Dave, I said, man, this is. Dave a... said, help me out a little bit. <laughs> I've been in other words, ball since 12 o'clock. In other words, do it for me. He's got a little gym right here, I think. Help me out a little. 
Oh, Lordy. Oh, this is cool. Good old Daryl Heaton. Some of the spectators here who we didn't know they were on Facebook. It almost looks like it's not real. Nice family out there. He is cute as a bug. I thought he was going to be too soon. Do you have an All right, they're finaling everything up right now. Uh, brackets, high game, all that good stuff. about ready.
and second and third place ended in a tie with 11.75, and that was Jack and Blake. So we put second and third together and divided by two. Bring it up. So, Jack, you get one, and Blake, I'll put yours in your smart account. And the winner today with a 12.19 is Nate Potter. State Bowl. <laughs> Thanks for watching.